Namaste everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pooja and I have with me today a very, very young and talented lady, Neha Padhya. Thank you so, so much for being here with me and for taking time out to um, be on my channel. Thank you so much for having me. It is a pleasure to host you, Neha. Um, so let me say a few words about Neha before she shares with us her gift and her talent by singing for us and by chanting um, something for us. Um, Neha lives in India, in Pune. She's a very young lady, like I said, she's just in her third year of university. And she has been learning classical Hindustani music for about 14 years now. Um, she has a list of awards, so I'm literally going to have to read them out to you. Um, she, she has been learning music for the past 14 years, like I said, and she has completed Madhyam Purna level in Hindustani music, which is very, very impressive. She has been participating in various music and talent shows and events in India, and some of her achievements are that she's been the winner of BNCC Aspitswa for two years, uh, she has won an award for Marathi folk song at Madhukan Pune and the third prize at Kala Mahotsav Pune. And she's also been the winner at, of Sangeet Bharti Mittam 2017. Of course, other than that, she's won various events and prizes at inter-college events. And she has also been part of a talent show on an Indian TV channel. The talent show was Sangeet Samra. So uh, congratulations on all these achievements at such a young age, Neha, and continue. Thank you. Progressing. <laughs> all right. Now, I'm a yoga teacher, and I love to start my own practice or start yoga classes with something to do with music or chanting, because everything in the universe is vibrations. Um, nature itself has so many sounds and vibrations. And you know, the, the, the ancient Vedic traditions of India have explored the, the power of sounds and vibrations and formulated them in um, mantras and stotras, in uh, devotional songs to help us elevate the frequency, elevate the frequency of our body, of our environment. So why don't you share something with us since you are gifted with a beautiful melodious voice something that could be used in spiritual practices what do you have to share with us okay uh, basically for today's session i've shortlisted two shlokas um indians follow this tradition of worshiping lord ganesha before we start off with any program and uh, lord ganesha has been considered as one of the greatest gods and the lord of all art forms. So the first shloka that I have chosen has been extracted from the Jnaneshwari. Now the Jnaneshwari is a holy book written by Saint Jnaneshwar, one of the greatest saints of India. And actually this book comprises of various shlokas and every shloka is a different area of study. But since we are focusing on yoga today, um, the shloka that I have chosen today acts as a preamble to the Jnaneshwari and it focuses on two aspects. The first one is the importance of Omkara or Om. And the second aspect is that it has been offered to Lord Ganesha as a prayer because it is important to worship Lord Ganesha as uh, Omkara has been derived from Lord Ganesha. Whenever we chant Omkara, we believe that it has been transmitted to us from him. And Omkara, as we all know, has healing properties. So it is always beneficial to include it in um, uh, on a daily basis so that we get positivity and vibrations, positive vibrations. So um, I'll be starting with the first mantra now. Mm -hmm. Om Namo ved pratipadya jaya jaya tvasavedya Rupa 
ಚಂದೇವಾಚಿ ಗಣೇಶ ಸಕಲಮತಿ ಪ್ರಕಾಶು ಮಹಣೆ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ದಾಸು ಅವಧಾರಿ ಜೋಜಿ thank you the second one that i have chosen is an offering to lord ganesha because as i mentioned earlier that uh, it is important to worship lord ganesha he has been considered as the creator of universe and uh, we all believe that by worshiping him it is always a good practice to start off with any auspicious thing so here comes the second one mm. vakratund ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿ ಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕೂರ್ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರ್ವದ absolutely gorgeous thank you very very much for sharing this and um i just like to share something personal um i so i am born and raised in um, east africa and i always always wanted to go and live in india just so that i could experience ganesha festival ganpati festival and i actually did that i did my university in india just for that and i i feel very very much connected to lord ganesha and i think it's um you chose the right thing for our first video it's the beginning of a set of videos that we'll do together so very very auspicious way to start our little definitely videos together thank you once again neha and i look forward to welcoming you again on my channel to share more of your talent and gifts with us thank you so much i enjoyed a lot and definitely i am looking forward to more such videos where we can collaborate and we can do more of such mantras having each mantra having a different um, importance and uh, something different that we could connect with yoga yes absolutely and plus you have learned classical um, indian music so this just gives it a little extra special touch <laughs> when you chant the mantras So thank you once again and uh, I'll see you again very very soon. Thank you.